Hello everyone. Today we are going to use the model drawing template to solve a word problem using model drawing. We are also going to choose the correct model to be drawn. I am going to read a word problem. Please listen carefully. Mel sold 125 books on Tuesday. She sold 351 books on Wednesday. How many more books did she sell on Wednesday than on Tuesday? Did you manage to pick up any important information? Let's hear the word problem again. Make notes as you are listening. Mel sold 125 books on Tuesday. She sold 351 books on Wednesday. How many more books did she sell on Wednesday than on Tuesday? What notes have you taken down? Here's mine. I wrote T for Tuesday and W for Wednesday. Is Mel an important information? Not quite, as it could be Mary, Jane, or Thomas and that wouldn't change the story's events much, but we do know, she refers to Mel and the only person in the story. I'm given Tuesday as 125 books and Wednesday as 351 books, so is this going to be a part whole problem, since there are two parts? Did you pick up the keyword? The most important information in the story that will help you to decide if this is a part whole problem or a comparison problem to add or to subtract. That's right. More, more than. The question asked for how many more than and that is a key word for comparison. I shall draw the model now. She sold more books on Wednesday than on Tuesday, so I'm going to draw a longer bar for Wednesday and a shorter bar for Tuesday beside each other. I will label the bars T for Tuesday, 125 books, W for Wednesday, 351 books. How many more? So let's compare them. How is Tuesday and Wednesday different from each other? If they were the same, their bars will look like an equal sign. So how are they not the same? Here. Here's the difference between them. This is what we are looking for. To find that, I will write. Wednesday minus Tuesday will be equal to how many more? 351 minus 125 will be equal to the answer. Let's do the working. 351 minus 125. Remember to leave spaces in case we need to regroup to subtract. Starting from the ones, regroup 5 tens 1 1 to 4 tens and 11 ones, so that you can take away 5 ones to leave 6 ones. 4 tenths minus 2 tenths gives 2 tenths, and 3 hundredths minus 100 leaves 2 hundredths. So the answer will be 226. Mel sold 226 more books on Wednesday than on Tuesday.